When we work on electrical equipment, we have to isolate the supply in many cases to make us safe when we're carrying that work out. Now, if we're going to use a circuit breaker as a means to isolate an electrical circuit, we will turn it off, but then of course we need to make sure that nobody can come along and turn it back on again whilst we're in the middle of the work. We do have a variety of different tools available that helps us deal with that situation. If we turn that circuit breaker off, we then have a tool like this where we can squeeze those prongs together and the circuit breakers come with holes in the side so that those prongs can be inserted into there. Now having inserted it, if we then push that into there, that can no longer be squeezed and therefore cannot be removed. Now that's held that breaker off very securely. We can go a stage further still with a padlock that says if we put that padlock through there and then lock it, then we can't pull that out, we can't squeeze it and therefore we can't take it off. Put that in your pocket and nobody can come along and turn it back on again whilst we're in the middle of the work. Of course, if we want to do, we can put a label on as well and that label will just add a bit of warning to others that some work is being undertaken. Regulation 13 of the Electricity at Work regulations tells us that we have to take actions to make sure that when we're working on equipment that has been isolated, that it cannot be reconnected and therefore I might suggest to you that doing that is a legal requirement but after all it's the main thing is that it keeps you safe.